Hold up. Do you know where your shrimp comes from? Um, you have me in a pinch. Maybe the sea? Uh, no, no, no. In the US, the average person consumes roughly four pounds of shrimp each year. That's 1.32 billion pounds of shrimp for the entire country. But has anyone looked at their shrimp cocktail, fried shrimp, or shrimp chips and wondered where the heck it comes from? The global shrimp industry is valued at 12 to 15 billion dollars worldwide. 55% of the industry is actually farmed shrimp. Currently, the U.S. imports nearly 90% of its shrimp. However, many people in these countries aren't aware of what goes into this production, starting with what type of shrimp they're eating. Right now, you're probably eating black tiger prawns or Pacific white shrimp. This is because they're the most commonly cultured species being the largest. But before we continue, what's the difference between prawns and shrimp? While both are decapod creatures, meaning that they have 10 legs and an exoskeleton, prawns and shrimp are from different suborders and are actually different types of shellfish. However, from a commercial standpoint, these two terms are often used interchangeably, which is why the black tiger shrimp is often labeled as a prawn. Okay, that's cool, but that still didn't answer the question. Where do shrimp come from? Right now, maybe you think that the shrimp you're eating is definitely caught in the wild. You might be surprised to find out that only 45% of shrimp worldwide is caught, totaling around 3.7 million tons of shrimp, compared to the 4 million tons that are farmed. In the United States, wild shrimp are caught in Alaska, along the west coast, and in the Gulf of Mexico. This shrimp is caught using trawls, which are large nets attached to boats that are dragged through the water column. Different regions require different types of trawls, such as skimming trawls or bottom trawls, in order to be more environmentally friendly. However, most trawls are used without regard to the environment, so it's important to source your shrimp from those who care. The other 55% of worldwide shrimp eaten is farmed, most of it coming from Southeast Asia and South America, especially Ecuador. Often, these fisheries use shallow ponds or raceways around four feet deep to raise their shrimp. Shrimp aquaculture is performed both indoors, such as places like the Transparent Sea Shrimp Farm in California, and outdoors, such as the tropical regions of China, Thailand, and Indonesia. The warm temperatures and low salinity create the perfect environment for shrimp. In these aquacultures, common types of feed include mixes of wheat flour, soybean meal, fish meal, and yeast. Given these conditions, the most efficient shrimp farms are able to raise market-sized shrimp in just three months. However, shrimp farming is sustainable only if it is properly managed. If not, massive amounts of pollutants such as salt, antibiotics, and biological waste can be released, which have the potential to cause devastating effects to surrounding habitats. So now you know where the shrimp in your shrimp chips come from. I didn't know that such a large amount of shrimp is farmed. It's interesting to see what goes into farming shrimp sustainably. Yep. But we have to be careful and try to keep shrimp aquaculture sustainable. We don't want to be shellfish and ruin the environment. You don't have to keep eating it. But then who's going to eat it? Jigs are pretending. <laughs> right now, so we can get it.